the KSAM Wake Up Morning Show. And as we uh, turn our attention to our hometown happenings page at KSAM1017.com, one of the things we want to let you know, Huntsville ISD Elementary School children, they're heading home for the summer here in just a few weeks. And Time to Read wants each second grader to take home a backpack full of beloved children's books for summertime reading. Yeah, I think that's great. great. I, that yeah. was that was tradition in my family. After I got out of uh, elementary for the summer, that's it. Grandma took me to the library, and we packed them up. That's right, because in the summertime, or at least back when I was growing up, yep, that morning we'd kink on the TV, and we'd turn on Happy Days or the Tarzan movie and just yeah. be, just let it become the brain drain. Yep, and that was, like, not happening. And then when we go back to school the following fall, it, it it took a month, six weeks to get us all back into gear again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So one way to combat that is to make the kids read over the summertime, at least a little bit every single day. Be good. And a time to read has these uh, has this special thing going on now. So if you go to their website and you can get some more information, go to a time to read. That's the number two dot org slash backpacks and you can get some more information about this we have the all contact information over on our hometown happenings page as well yeah you should go ahead and go to ksam1017.com for all the information and they are interested in sponsoring backpacks so take a look okay our community spotlight brought to you by Wiesner of Huntsville Carly Pearson Chris Stapleton we don't fight anymore 101.7 ksam your hometown radio station I'm Carlos. Your weather forecast is coming right up. Kenny Chesney and Morgan Wallen on the way as well. Well, Google Trends has released some search data on what people in various states are looking to recycle more than in other states. Here is the thing that each state is fixated on. 11 states are focused on the typical stuff, bottles and cans, and another 13 states are Googling how to dispose of tech like TVs, phones, and computers. Five states want to be reminded of the process for batteries, AA and car batteries, Four states are asking about pizza boxes. Two states are looking to get rid of tires. Two more have excess clothes, excess clothes, and a couple more are looking to, dis- to dispose of old mattresses. Then you got the weirder stuff. People in Ohio and Vermont want to know how to recycle wrapping paper. For us here in Texas, it's those plastic hangers. For Wyoming, they're trying to learn how to recycle fast food cups. And for Louisiana, it's also really on brand for them. Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras beads. How do they recycle that? Huh. I'm not stunned in the slightest. It's Chris Ledoux. Cadillac Ranch. 101.7 KSAM, your hometown radio station. You're listening to 90s at noon. Your Southeast Texas weather forecast is coming right up. Also on the way, Patty Loveless and Clay Walker. Well, I don't have a food story for you today, but I have this. Let me ask you, is feeling annoyed the new norm? Well, two-thirds of people in a poll say they're generally more annoyed now than they ever have before. 45% say they can't remember the last time they went a full 24 hours without feeling irritated by something. The average is three annoying things a day. Here are the top five everyday irritations you might encounter today. Number five, bad parkers who take up more than one space. Yeah, you know who I'm talking about. Number four, people who don't use turn signals. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. Number three, being stuck on hold. Typical. Number two, potholes. And all the construction going on around here right now, that's more of a plenty than anything. And the number one thing that you may find in your everyday that irritates you, when someone doesn't clean up after their dog. Especially if you step in it. No one wants to do that. Absolutely not. Who enjoys stepping in that? Nobody does. So pick up after your dog, please. Save us all a headache. Cody Johnson and Dirt Cheap on your hometown radio station, 101.7 KSAM. Good afternoon. I'm Big Lynn. Your forecast is coming right up. So have you heard about this? Nabisco, they have announced Sour Patch Kids flavored Oreos are coming out next month. Uh, of course, we know that they're always known for overdoing uh, overdoing it rather on their Oreo flavors. Uh, but this might certainly be the most weirdest one yet. Now, uh, let's see here. Oreo and Nabisco, they went ahead and released a statement saying that the Oreo brand is always looking for playful ways to excite their fans. What better way and more unexpected way than this? Now, you can pre-order them from the Oreo website. They'll hit stores nationwide on about May the 6th, but they're going to be a limited time kind of thing. So even if they realize there's really no way anybody wants it, at least it's not going to be a big one waste, for lack of a better term. Now, believe it or not, the whole thing started out as a joke. Yeah, back in 2022, Sour Patch Kids people tweeted a doctored photo of exactly what they're now selling and the tagged Oreo in it and said, hey, 
What if we actually made these? Wouldn't that be fun? Brett Young on 101.7 KSAM playing today's best country and all of your favorites. All right, so let's talk about it. First off, happy it's the weekend. Excited it's the weekend. It's been a great week somewhat so far. <laughs> I'm just happy that it's the weekend. Apparently, around 1 in 16 Americans, though, don't even think we should have one. Someone asked over 10,000 people how many days there should be in a quote-unquote standard work week. 6% of people think we should be working 7 days a week. Now, in radio sense, you're always working. So, nothing new from our sense, but for everyone in general, they think everyone should be working 7 days a week. Most popular answer was 5 days with 45% of the vote, but 4 was pretty close at 2nd with 37%. 3% said it was 6, another 3 said 3 days, 2% think we should only be working 1 day a week. 0 was also a choice, but no one picked it, because obviously we have to be able to live, and working means money, and, and, and you know. Around probably about 1 in 8 people only think that a 4 day work week would make us less productive, and most agree that it would be good for our mental health. The poll didn't ask how uh, working seven days a week might affect it, though, so who knows? I can probably go ahead and tell you that having a seven-day work week would, in a regular job, if I was working a regular job and I wasn't in radio, no. <laughs> I would find the closest route to get to a radio station. So at least it would be enjoyable. 